my dad basically asked me to look and tell him which fields he should be taking up and or using for manure spreading this summer. Um, and this first field I've looked at is still a big question mark because there's areas of it that are productive enough to keep in production, but there's areas that aren't. So I'm gonna show you guys how I look at alfalfa stands. So I start with this alfalfa ring. I've, I used to use these all the time when I was an agronomist and they came from my old company. Um, but it tells you on here the different measures to take and how to understand if you should keep a stand in production. And all you do with it is you throw it to a random part of the field and then you walk up to it and assess where it landed. All right, so here's where she landed. You can see there is actually more weeds here than alfalfa. Um, and I'll count the stems here, but I'm already t gonna tell you that it's gonna be less than 55 stems. Like here's your stem density. This is honestly the most important number to pay attention to. It's more than 55, your stem density is good. 40 to 55 could be reduced, less than 39 consider replacing the stand. So I'm gonna see if there's even 39 plant or stems here. I got 22 stems. No Gouda. I just threw it again and this one looks a lot better. So I'll count the stems and let you guys know how many are here. I got at least 57. So this part of the exact same field is much better. As alfalfa gets older year after year, the plants just grow and they get bigger and bigger. So they, even though there's only maybe one or two plants in this square foot, they have enough stems to make them productive enough to keep them in production. So I'm gonna dig up the root and just see how healthy that is. And that'll be another part of the assessment. that discoloration anyway but if you see discoloration in the roots um, basically they just aren't moving nit nutrients or water as efficiently through the plant it kind of helps you understand how the plants are gonna regrow after you take cuttings off the alfalfa so I think this is actually pretty decent for how old the stand is I'll have to ask my dad but I'm guessing it's probably a four years old stand so I'm still kind of up in the air with this field because there's some parts that look to be productive. So I'm gonna go look at another field. Got some of those yellow flowers that Hank likes here. I'm gonna count this area. So even though this ring looks better than the other field, the first ring I did, I still only got 32 stems and that is like, consider replacing the stand. So this, this one so far isn't looking as good as the other one, um, but I'm gonna take a couple more checks and dig some roots. This alfalfa is Roundup ready. So we could spray the weeds, but because the stand is so old, it won't really fill in anymore. We mostly use the Roundup technology in like the year of seeding for alfalfa um, because we're trying to kill the weeds so the alfalfa can grow in. And that's the whole point of the technology. Got 34 on this one. Creepers making me walk. Okay. Twenty-three on that one. Because you can see it looks really green, but a lot of that green is clover. Probably say to my dad to keep the other field, which is uh, just on the other side of this woods. Um seems to have a little bit more potential but to be honest they're pretty close and I'll ask him if they were seeded in the same year because of how close they are to being taken up. thought I would come out to another field just to show you guys what to compare to because this is a lot younger stand. Just looking down it's a lot more pure alfalfa. Not nearly as many weeds. I stopped counting at 100. <laughs> it's uh, probably, I don't know, 110. But I was like, whatever, there's plenty here. 
So that just shows you the difference between a field that's been in production for a long time versus not. Um, but it's helpful to know when you want to start looking at a book, considering taking, yeah, I love alfalfa.